The Japanese chin is a lovely small companion known for their silky coat and noble demeanor. Often described as a cat-like breed, this lap dog is neat, graceful, and generally quiet. They have an unmistakable eastern appearance, a large head, short muzzle, and round, dark eyes that give them an astonished look. The lush mane around the neck, plumed tail, and culottes on the hind legs also contribute to their elegant and exotic appearance. If you're interested in learning about the Japanese chin, you've come to the right place. This video will give you the lowdown on this adorable pup. So sit tight and get ready to discover everything you need to know. Overview Asian Origin Japan Height 8 to 11 inches Weight 7 to 11 pounds Lifespan 10 to 12 years Coat type Silky, medium length Colors Black and white, black tan and white, lemon and white, red and white, sable and white, white and black Temperament. Charming, loving, noble. Suitable for. Families or people living alone, apartment living. Kid friendly, 3 out of 5 stars. Pet friendly, 5 out of 5 stars. Energy level, 3 fifths stars. Trainability, 3 out of 5 stars. Tendency to bark, 2 fifths stars. Shedding amount, 3 fifths stars. History. The Japanese chin's origin is shrouded in the mysticism of ancient Far Eastern rituals. They may initially come from China, dating back to at least the 4th century, but Japanese nobles later refined the breed into their current form. The Western world became aware of these canines in 1854, when Japan opened for trade after 200 years of isolation. They used to be called the Japanese Spaniel until officially changing their name to the Japanese chin in 1977. Appearance the Japanese Chin is a small, well-proportioned, lively toy dog with a distinct oriental expression. They have light and stylish manners, plus plumed tail turns over their backs. The coat is abundant, silky, soft, and straight, giving the dog a square appearance. Temperament This dog is sensitive and intelligent, solely dedicated to serving as a companion. They're affectionate with familiar members, but reserved with outsiders or in new situations. Grooming the Japanese chin has a soft, flowing coat that may make you think they require high maintenance, but they're actually easy to take care of. You only need to brush them once a week and bathe them every month or so, depending on their surroundings. Also, remember to trim regularly to keep nails short and neat. Check their ears to avoid wax, buildup and debris that can lead to ear infections. And brush their teeth to keep their dental health in check. Exercise these small and active canines enjoy leisurely walks and exploring their fenced backyard. When going outside, you have to keep them on a leash as they can be stubborn and won't always follow your commands. They can be a bit shy in new situations, but with proper socialization, they'll enjoy playing with other small pups at a supervised dog park. Training Japanese chins were originally bred to be companions for royalty, and their job has always been to charm, entertain, and comfort their owners. So, if you're training a chin, it's important to make them believe that training is just about doing what they want to do. These dogs respond well to positive methods, but will shut down if they sense harshness. They love learning new tricks that they can perform for their adoring audience, but you should keep training sessions exciting and fun to keep their attention. Health The Japanese chin is generally healthy, but good breeders will screen for health concerns like slipping kneecaps, epilepsy, cataracts, and early onset heart murmurs. Breeders can also test for a fatal neurological condition called Tay-Sachs disease, which affects chin. By identifying carriers of the disease, these people can prevent it from manifesting in their puppies. Nutrition. The Japanese chin does well on high-quality dog food, whether store-bought or home-prepared, with your vet's approval. Ensure the food suits your dog's age, puppy, adult, or senior. And note that some chins are prone to obesity, so you must strictly monitor their calorie intake and weight. Treats can help with training, but too many goodies can cause your beloved pet to become overweight. In addition, remember always to keep clean, fresh water available for them. Living Condition This breed is an excellent choice for apartment living, but Japanese chins are not well suited for hot weather areas because of their short muzzles, which make it difficult for them to regulate their body temperature by panting. 
For this reason, it's crucial to ensure they always have access to fresh water and good ventilation. Additionally, on very hot days, it's best to keep them indoors to avoid any risk of overheating. Three little-known facts about the Japanese chin. 1. Chin vs. Inu in Japan In Japan, there are Inu and Chin. Inu are generally more common and have traditionally been used as working dogs. On the other hand, Chin are considered royalty and are believed to be descendants of the lap dogs that were once owned by the Chinese aristocracy. 2. Matthew Perry introduced Japanese chins to America. In the 1850s, American Commodore Matthew Perry went to Japan. He aimed to persuade the Japanese people to open trade after 200 years of isolationism. Perry was successful in his mission and returned with two Japanese chins. These two dogs were the first Japanese chin to be brought to the United States. 3. Queen Alexandra made the breed more well-known. Queen Alexandra, the wife of King Edward VII, received a Japanese chin as a gift from the British royal family after her marriage in 1863. She often photographed and painted her pets, and that interest helped increase the breed's popularity in England and throughout Europe. Japanese Chin for Sale If you're interested in getting a Japanese chin, you should know that it's not a very common breed. The price of a purebred Japanese chin can vary from $1,500 to $2,500, depending on their pedigree, and it's important to only buy from a reputable breeder. Conclusion This breed is a good fit for families, singles, as well as small apartment living. They're quick learners and generally quiet, which makes it pretty easy to train. So, if you're looking for a small, loyal, and entertaining furry companion, the Japanese chin is definitely worth considering.